Hey guys, it's Charles with Things Inc. And in this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at the basics of using the model editor in rooms. You can use the model editor to edit anything. And you can also create your own models from scratch. I'm also gonna show you guys some of the special materials that are available within the model editor. And using those materials, you can do some really creative things. Now I'm gonna be using the desktop version of rooms for this tutorial, but you guys can also follow along on the iOS app on your tablet or smartphone. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, I've got a demo room open here and let's jump over to the edit mode. And as we mentioned before, you can edit anything in a room. So I'm gonna come down here and select the ping pong table that I've got in this room. And when I do that, we're gonna see the properties for that ping pong table over here. And you can see we have edit and we have model and code. Let's go ahead and select model and that'll launch the model editor. And this is the model editor. If I actually left click and drag around, I can rotate around the model that we have open here. And if I right click and drag, it'll actually pan around. And I can also use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. So that's how you'll navigate around your model when you have it open in the model editor. The model editor is great because it allows you to do a lot of different things, but with some really simple and straightforward tools, this makes it really inviting, especially if you're a beginner. And you can see the different tools that we have available up here. We have add, paint, extrude, and remove. And some of these have kind of sub tools built into them. And then we have some base colors you can select from some specialty materials down here, and we can have some custom colors as well. Now let's start by changing a few things on this ping pong table. Uh, one of the things I could do right off the bat, I'm gonna select the white color here with the add block selected. And I can just place some blocks here on the ping pong table. Those kind of act like ping pong balls. And then if I wanted to get rid of those, I can just select remove. And I can come over here and just click those. And that will actually remove those blocks that we added. Now let's say I wanted to change the color of this ping pong table. A lot of ping pong tables are also green. So let's change this to be more of a green color. So I'm gonna select the paint tool up here and it's automatically gonna select the brush option there for the paint tool. And I'm gonna select this green color and I can come over here and just click on these blocks. And that will go ahead and paint those in. Now obviously this would take a long time to paint all these individually. So what I can also do is click and hold you know, hear a little sound cue and you can see it says drag to paint over the blocks. And I can just drag around here and I'll actually paint on the surface of this. Now we have a few other paint tools that we can choose from. So if I go ahead and click paint again, you're gonna see we have the brush selected right now, but we also have this option for box. So I'm gonna select that. And with this, I can click and hold again. You know, hear the sound prompt there. And I can just drag this out to kind of cover a box shape. And then when I let go, it'll go ahead and fill that entire area in. So that's an easy way to cover a lot of blocks really quickly. But we also have another tool in the paint options up here. We have the fill, so it's like the paint bucket. And with this, it'll actually give you a preview of what it's gonna do before you even click. So you can see as I drag this around, it's gonna show me kind of what this would fill in if I clicked. So I just wanna fill in this blue area here. And let's go ahead and rotate around to the other side and fill in this area. And now that quickly, we've changed the color of the ping pong table to be green. Let's go ahead and change the edge of the net as well. I'm gonna click this gray color here. And let's go ahead and change this red color to be these gray colors. And let's go ahead and add back in some ping pong balls. So I'm gonna select the white color there and go back to the add tool and add a few of those on there. And let's go ahead and click save. And just like that, you can see we've changed the color of the ping pong table and it's reflected here in our room. And that's really how simple it is to edit anything you see available in the things library or anything else you create in rooms. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete that ping pong table. Let's take a look at using the model editor to create a thing from scratch. So let's come down here to the plus icon. And when we open up the things library, you're gonna see down here at the very bottom, we have this add new thing. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and you can see we can create one from scratch. And when we click that, it will go ahead and launch open the model editor. And you can see there's no model in here. So we can create anything we want in here right now. And a simple model that I like to start out with creating is kind of like a retro gaming handheld, kind of like an homage to a Game Boy. So let's go ahead and build one of those. I'm gonna come up here and select the gray color and I'm gonna use the add tool here. And let's go ahead and add three blocks. Another way we can use the add tool, we don't have to add individual blocks like this. We can actually click and hold and we'll hear the sound prompt and we can go ahead and drag this out into like a box shape. And I'm gonna drag this out about eight blocks length. And now if I'm gonna go ahead and raise this up, we can use this other tool over here known as the extrude tool. So I can actually, when I highlight that, you'll see it raises up a level and I can click. And then we'll add a layer. And we can repeat this process to add layers. And if we wanna do this even faster, you can click and hold. 
you know, hear the sound prompt again, and we can go ahead and just pull this up. And I'll let go, and you'll see it adds all those to this model. And on the grid down here, you can see this says front. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this to the front side. And let's go ahead and paint on some things for our gaming device. So I'm gonna select the paint tool, and I'm just gonna use the brush. And I'm gonna select this dark color down here in the corner. And let's go ahead and let's add a directional pad onto this. There's a nice little simple D-pad. Now let's add some buttons. And I'm gonna select the red color here. And I actually want this to be a little bit darker red. So I'm gonna come down here to the custom colors and click on the add. And let's go ahead and just make this a little bit darker red. And we come over here and let's add these buttons. Again, we're just painting these onto the surface. And let's add some start and select buttons. So I'll select a little bit darker gray. So now we've painted on our controls to our little gaming device. Now let's go ahead and add on a screen. And I'm gonna select this kind of light green color here. And for this, I wanna use a little bit of a brighter color and I'll show you why a little bit later on in the tutorial. But under the paint tool here, I'm gonna click on that. Let's go ahead and select box. And I'm just gonna highlight this, click and hold. And we hear the sound prompt and I'm just gonna drag this down now to kind of create our screen. Now I can rotate around this. Let's add a few details to the side and the back. So I'm gonna select the dark color again I'm just gonna add like a headphone jack and maybe like a volume wheel here. Paint a few blocks on the side. We'll rotate around to the other side here. Maybe do like a link cable attachment. And let's rotate to the back. Let's add in a game cartridge. I'm gonna select the red color for this. I think we all probably know what game this is, but I'm gonna paint this on the back. I can also click and hold again, just drag across. Let's go ahead and let's rotate around to the front of this. Now we also have the option to remove some blocks and Game Boys kind of have a rounded corner down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna select remove and we have two different options here. I'm just gonna use the standard remove one here and I'm gonna come down here and just remove three little blocks around the edge of that. Now the, you'll see here we have the magic eraser. When I select that, it'll actually remove all the blocks of that color that you highlight. So you can see I could remove all of the gray or all of the screen or the D-pad, but that's what that does and you can click that here. Now you can see I've removed everything from my Game Boy, but that brings us to the next option down here at the bottom corner. We have the undo. I can click that to undo or redo anything that I do in here. So I'm gonna undo, obviously, removing that entire model. Now I think our Game Boy is looking pretty good, so let's go ahead and let's click save. And now we can see our Game Boy is in the middle of our scene and it is selected and we have the properties for it over here. I'm gonna rotate this now, just click and drag. And I think our Game Boy model is looking pretty good. Now we're gonna revisit the Game Boy model here in just a second, but I wanna show you a few of the other kind of specialty materials that are in the model editor. So to do that, I'm actually gonna select this TV screen I've got here. So I'm gonna click that and let's go into the model editor for this. And you've probably seen down here in the bottom right corner, we have this text, this image, and this light. And these are kind of some specialty materials. I wanna quickly show you guys how you can use these. So I'm gonna select this text material here, this magenta pink color. And you can see up here, it says, use this color to designate a rectangular text area. So I'm just gonna rotate around here. Let's go ahead and highlight the top corner here. I'm gonna click and hold. I'm just gonna drag this over the entire screen. You can see it plops that down there. Now let's go ahead and let's click save. And we can see on our screen here, nothing has changed. But if we come over to the properties panel and we have it selected, you're gonna see we have this option for text. It may be closed, so you can go ahead and toggle that open. And you can see we can add some text in here. So I'll just type in something here. And then when I click away, you'll see it says this is a TV screen. And I can actually change the color of the text if I want to. Let's go ahead and make it white. And you can also adjust the text size. So that's a quick and easy way you can add text to anything that you have in your room. And if I wanna change that at any time, I can just come over here and change it to something else. And you can see that automatically updates on our thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear that text out. And let's take a look at another material we have. So with the TV selected here, I'm gonna go back into the model editor. And now let's go ahead and remove that text material that we had. So I'm just gonna select the remove tool. I'm gonna use the magic eraser and just click. And that'll go ahead and remove all that text material. Now let's go ahead and select the paint brush here. And I'm gonna select the box option. And let's go ahead and select the image canvas. I'm just gonna rotate around here and let's click in the top corner. I'm just gonna hold again and just drag this over the entire screen. And you're gonna see it's gonna make it this green color. And what this indicates is that we can add our own media or images to this material. And let's go ahead and let's click save. And right now what we'll see is this pretty gradient on the screen. 
And I think this looks pretty good by itself, but what that indicates to us is that we can add our own image over that material. And so with the TV selected, we come over to the properties panel, you're gonna see we have this media option now. You can toggle this down if it's closed and you'll have the option for an image. And if I click in this, we can upload our own image or we can generate an image with AI. And you'll also see any other images you've already added to the media library are available in here as well. And if you ever need to open up the media library, it's down here in the bottom left corner. You can go ahead and click that. And this is another way you can upload images and other media into the library. I'm just gonna go ahead and click out of that. So I'm gonna come back over here to image and I'm gonna select this tutorial thumbnail image that I have. And this is the thumbnail image for the very first tutorial that I did for rooms. And we can see that room over here on the screen and you can see me on the screen as well. So go ahead and let's click play. And I can just rotate around here and we can see that on the screen. So we can watch that tutorial in here if we want to, I guess. So let's jump back over to the edit tab. And let's go back over to our Game Boy. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And it'd be really cool if we could add some glow to this screen or maybe make the screen light up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna deselect the Game Boy for a second so we have the room properties over here. And on the lighting here, I'm gonna change this to be a dark room. So now it's kind of dark in here. We can see the screen's kind of illuminated there. And I'm gonna select the Game Boy again. And under style over here, we're gonna have this option for glow. I can go ahead and increase this. And you can see it's gonna make the entire object glow. And we actually don't want that. I'm gonna zoom in here just a little bit so we can see this a little bit easier. And that's why we wanna use the threshold option here. And this goes back to why I said I wanted to use a little bit brighter color for the screen. So I can go ahead and increase this threshold. And that will then allow just the screen to be glowing. You can see when I lowered a little bit, the back cartridge is also glowing. So that may be a look you might want, but I'm gonna increase it a little bit more so that it's just the screen. And then we can control the glow level as well here. You can see kind of how much we want. So we can really juice it up or bring it down to a reasonable level there. Now this looks pretty neat by itself. We could actually add some light coming off of the screen as well using a light material. So I'm gonna select the Game Boy again and let's come back over here to the model editor. And this final material right here in the bottom right corner is add a light. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And with the add tool selected, I'm just gonna add a light point. And with this, you only add one point on the model. So we just need to add this once. And you can see it says, use this color to place a single block light source. So we just need to add one of these to our model, kind of where we want the light to be coming from. Let's go ahead and let's click save. And now we can see we have a light glow kind of on the floor here around our Game Boy. And when we have our Game Boy selected over here on the properties panel, you can see we now have these light properties. And I can go ahead and change the color of this light. Let's go ahead and let's make it more of a green color so it kind of matches the screen. And then we can adjust the intensity and the range. So I'm gonna bring the range down quite a bit because we don't want this to be lighting up the entire room. You can kind of see that there. And then we can bump up the intensity a little bit more. Then I can zoom back out and kind of move this around the room and kind of see how that's affecting things. So that's a really easy way you can add a light source onto any of the things you create in the model editor. I'm gonna go ahead and change the lighting in here back to bright. And that's really how easy it is to get started creating your own things using the model editor in Rooms. Lastly, you can also submit any of your creations to the Things Library. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Game Boy here and I'll show you guys how you can do that. Just make sure you go ahead and name everything, kind of have all the properties cleaned up well to increase your chances of getting it approved. I'll go ahead and name this. And then to submit this for review, you can come down here and see this up arrow and it says Submit to Things Library. You can go ahead and click that. And it'll give you the option then to submit that for review. And if it gets approved, other people will be able to use your model in their rooms. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial learning all the basics of the model editor in rooms. Make sure you guys check out the Things Inc. YouTube channel for even more tutorials. We have a lot of great content on there. We can't wait to see the stuff you guys create. And if you make any cool models, be sure to submit those to the Things Library for review. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.